recently, of course, the uh, 2021 Ford Mach E Mustang uh, was revealed uh, with much fanfare by Ford. And um, this vehicle, uh, at this point, after about nine days, apparently the first edition, uh, which is one of the different configurations that they'll be making uh, for the 2021 season, uh, is already sold out. Mm -hmm. So that shows that we have at least a number of people that are putting down a $500 deposit and taking up those spots. Now, Ford said uh, in, when they were releasing the car that they were going to make about 50,000 of these vehicles in the first year. Um, but what wasn't said was how they were dividing up the different, the different uh, models or editions of the vehicles, one being uh, what they're calling the uh, first um edition first edition yeah so we don't really there's know there's 10 if, first editions right we don't know if there's 10 first yeah. editions or 2500 first editions uh 25000 we don't know we don't know what the number is but uh the website is now preventing you from putting your deposit down towards that particular model so there is a, another two models that you can put your money towards i believe or one um Anyways, yeah, there's a since we, a GT. So, since we don't have the breakdown, we really don't know what the number is. It would be interesting to know what the number is for the but first. There edition. is no demand for EVs. Right? Well, well, apparently Toyota has not seen this article. Someone maybe should forward this to Jack, so yeah. he could see that maybe maybe he should look outside of his bubble because yes, there is there is people right. asking for them and actually putting money down on them. And and. Um, how many people gave a deposit on the Fugly truck? Well, at this point, it's uh, 250,000 people. Yeah, uh, so there's allegedly. no demand. Like, yeah. There's it's, uh, like 3 million people want to put money on a really ugly vehicle. Yeah. And so my, to... my, dad, my dad was going to get in line on this Mach-E, and uh, then he found out that, uh, that they were just going to shunt him off to a dealership, and that the dealership wasn't beholden to anything other than Five hundred dollars off, whatever. Um, oh, the deal really? Came to be. Yeah. So then he decided not to give them any money. Uh, he might still get the car, but he said, "Well, what's the point of getting in line?" And I said, get "Exactly, right." Well, Especially. We well, they, he he read the fine print further, and he said, "They're not even guaranteeing me that I'll be first at that dealership." Oh. Yeah. Right, and especially who knows if the dealership then is going to be like, well, we know it's a sixty-nine thousand dollar version, but we've got a market a, a market adjustment. Right, yeah. there's a market adjustment, and it's seventy-five thousand now. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> here's your five hundred dollars off. Yeah, <laughs> no, wouldn't, wouldn't that be a kick in the stomach after you waited uh, a period of time? Yeah, I've tried to convince them to get the Model Y, but uh, well, and, performance. And that is one of the things with the franchise dealers; they can sell for whatever they want in their market. And right. The market will pay over less. They can sell it for that. And and we know with something like this, potentially there's that market. Yeah. But at least at least the, the dealers one. at least the dealers are protecting us. From yeah, something. yeah. <laughs> They're protecting us from our money. <laughs> uh, Here, give me that money. I'll hold that. You don't want to hold that. You need that money. I yeah. am so glad that the dealer network out there is protecting us from manufacturers. It just yeah. makes so much sense. <laughs> so his current plan is to wait for it to drop and then shop around. Uh, that way, he, you know, whenever it's not a crush, he can get one of the dealers to give him a deal. And I was like, hey, what, 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 what case did you know what drew your father to that particular car? Is it because it's a Ford? Is it because it's a Mustang? No, he's, he's, he's not a what, Ford. What, I think it might be because it's a Mustang. It might be something about the... He always wanted you know. a Mustang and never had one. And yeah. Now he can get a Mustang and impress his son that it's an EV Mustang. <laughs> hey, Tesla just sent me an email that the EV tax credit is expiring soon. It That's is right. expiring soon. Sorry, I didn't mean to change the subject. I literally just got this email. I got it. <laughs> that was one of the things that he brought up to me is that the Ford still qualifies for the $7,500. Wow, the Tesla does not. And so will Toyota if they ever. <laughs> if they ever make a car. If, yeah, if they stop wasting them on primes, <laughs> that's well, not going to happen. They're, use, they're using them on primes, right? Yeah, like they are. Some of the I rebates. Th I, think, I think isn't the. I'm sorry, I'm going off topic, but I think the Rav Prime has a big enough battery to get a bigger oh, tax credit, right? Yeah, yes. it's got a, got a 17 kilowatt battery. Yeah. Oh, so it's enough to get yeah. all. Of them. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what they 
that's what they did that on purpose. I'm sure. Yeah. A couple of reasons. I'm going to guess the Prius Prime you only get like 4,200 on the Federal because it's yeah, right. tiny. Well, ho- hopefully right. he'll get a model wide performance. But this one will get the full, and I uh, yeah, and I believe they're tuning it. I might have heard that they're tuning it more towards performance. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so it should be really spunky, but we'll see. We shall see. Yeah. It, it's probably not going to be Tesla spunky. No. But, um, I think they said under seven seconds. Yeah, but uh, um, uh, a six-second uh, midsize Rap. SUV isn't bad. It's and did bad. did they put that on the show at the LA Auto Show? Like, did they put it on that was, stage? That was yes. a cherry red one, right? Okay. Yeah. It looks all right. Yeah, it's, it's a nice I, I, car. I, I guess I've been spoiled because even the Volt did it in under six seconds. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, but they didn't have any Volt dancers. That's the problem. Well, That's there right. you go. There you go. <laughs> You said pole dancers? <laughs> pole, pole, yeah. That would have been a better decision for GM. If they had pole dancers, yes. Yeah, the car company we did this the product com- release with pole dancers. We got this Camaro looking thing, and then a couple of years later, they said, it's like... <laughs> it looks like, a, it looks like a cruise. Mark, I'm sorry. I kind of hijacked you. Did any other wrap up on uh the, the mock no, again again since we don't know the numbers uh it's it's we don't know really know if this is something to be excited about that that, that someone jumped all over this uh or not uh, even if it was divided up evenly Which um not. so you'd be looking at you know thirteen thousand vehicles if it was divided up 13 13 13 no it'd be more than that it'd be 16 16 thousand vehicles each and you've right. got you've got something that uh, I don't know. Would you guys consider that to be a success if they went through sixteen thousand vehicles at this point were sold out after nine days? Is that a success for Ford? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say it is absolutely. I mean, they have no track it's record just... with EVs of you know any significant. Yeah, if you compare it to that Focus or those yeah. uh, those plug-in hybrids of theirs, yeah, that's well, not. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I mean, if Ford makes sixteen thousand EVs and sells them next year, I would consider that a success. Now, numerically, is that a market changer? No, of course not. But you know, uh, the more choices out there, the more people who will make a choice that's better for <clears throat> all right. of us. I mean, the one thing that was smart is they were leveraging the Mustang name and oh. that it it instills performance. You know, so their position is not a Focus; it's a performance car. And uh, some of these older sort of baby boomers that never had a Mustang when they were a teenager may go take it for a drive and go, holy shit, this thing is fun to drive. So, yeah, yeah that, that would be a win if you could get some butts and seats and they yeah. understand that an EV has got that type of performance. Uh, that would be a win. Yeah. There you go. One other side note to this story is that uh, there is a. A gentleman in the U.S. Uh, that's put together a lawsuit against Ford for naming it a Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> you can sue so one for he's, anything. He's suing Ford because they called this EV a Mustang. So uh, <laughs> dare you use your it trademark? Take, it on takes your car. all types, I guess. It takes yeah. all types. Well, it's going to affect the value of his like Mustang car, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 His collection, his barn full of uh, Mustangs. Mm-hmm.